Welcome. Today we have big news. Uh, and I'm Sophie from CNT Publishing, also Creative Spark. And I am with Shannon and Jason, who um, are both on both of all those platforms at Books at CNT Publishing and classes at Creative Spark. But we have really great fun news. And here it is big news. New book. Hey, news. Yay. Yay! From Shannon and Jason this December. <clears throat> um, and it's good if I you hear that sound. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can reserve your copy today, which is awesome. Um, and we're gonna kind of look into what uh, that what's in the book, what is Hogan Zashi, uh, how to pronounce it correctly, um, all of that. And uh, so why don't we jump in? We've got some pictures. So why don't we show also the cover? Let's start with please. The Let's start with the cover. There's the cover. Yay. <laughs> We're very excited about this book. <laughs> and this cover, this cover was a thing. Let me tell you what. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always tough for us to pick mm -hmm. things, right? I mean, when we have to pick like colors for a collection or fabric that we're going to use for a book i mean mm -hmm. it takes us i would say that the majority of the time is spent picking colors let alone the photos right. and so for the mm -hmm. cover we wanted something that was like okay this is the thing we do something you know I iconic that actually goes with the projects but also kind of shows everything off and there were three mm -hmm. different cover mm -hmm. options, options. Yeah. and one was this one was the purple and white mm -hmm. um and one was the red and white yeah was this vest yeah, yeah which right, right which we'll show and it will show later now, that's a, that's a pillow right that's, yeah that's the pillow from the book and uh it is we we love the way this cover came out <laughs> it's graphic mm -hmm. and, and it's something different than what we've used on our other covers it is yes mm -hmm. So there it is, Kogenzashi. Contemporary Kogenzashi, modern Sashiko Beyond, filling, filling in the gaps. gaps. Wait, so we're gonna, we can't do it short and easy like our right, last right, one. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to practice the last one. Last one, we're in Sashiko, Harmonious, Harmonious Imperfection. See, that's this one, Contemporary Kogenzashi, modern, modern Sashiko, Sashiko Beyond, beyond filling, filling in the gaps. gaps. That's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, we'll have to, to practice that a bit. We're gonna have to practice, yeah. so yeah. Yeah. If now, what um, the first book you did was on um, Sashiko. Now this is this is also a very different than yeah. yeah. The mm -hmm. other. Can you talk a little bit about what Kogan Sashi is and how it differs, or sure. how it's related sure. together? Sure. It's still sa it's still considered Sashiko, right? Like technically, it is still Sashiko. It, it, it um, is a form of Sashiko. Um, um, but yeah. Hito Masashi and Moyuzashi um, and Boro are what we did in our last book. Mm -hmm. right. um, and those are versions of Hito Masashi, of uh, Sashiko where you go through the fabric. Your needle actually pierces the fabric and moves the thread through that way. Generally speaking, it's, it's used to connect two different pieces of fabric together um, or to reinforce broken or failing fabric. This... Um, specifically is used Kogenzashi. on Kogenzashi um, is used on a uh, an open weave fabric. So even something weave, even, even yeah, weave yeah, fabric. Yeah, thank you. An even weave fabric. Which even weave means it has the same number of threads running this way as it does this way. Right. So the warp and the weft threads, it's the same number per inch. Right. Um, and generally speaking, um, in the, the, the areas of Japan where, where this type of fabric was originally used, um, the the, the 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 fabric could be very cool and open and flowy which is great except in the winters when it is cold right. and awful so, and so this also reinforced fabric but it did it as the title says by filling in the gaps in the warp and the weft so where the, you have those you can see it there in that mm -hmm. in that photo that you're sharing now you can see in the, that even weave fabric this is a modern even weave fabric you have to remember mm -hmm. that what they were working on was uh, handmade Hand looms, looms mm -hmm. and uh, they were hand looming the stuff that was about this wide. Yeah, it was about 14 inches wide. About 14. There you go. Sorry. Whatever 14 inches is. 14 <laughs> inches wide. And that's and then they piece those together to make their garments. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the fabric itself, I mean, they weren't using the types of textiles or uh, uh, fibers that we were using. Now. Right. They, they were using hemp and they were using rainy. They, they were using nettle. They, they were using some some really heavy 
fibers. Which trying um, to which trying left, to weave those together. Which left some large holes. They don't nestle in there. together really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they then they would then go back later and then literally weave extra extra fibers in through those holes. And they did so in such a way that it created these really amazing Geometric. geometrical patterns. And Sashiko on the Kito Musashi and Moyuzashi side is done following a grid of some sort, either a, a one to one grid or a, a two to one or three, you know, mm -hmm, something. Yeah. It's, it's done following a very strict grid and then following predetermined lines. The only lines that you have with this are the, the, the threads of the, 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 the fabric itself. You're working on right then and there. It's so you count over thread. a certain number and under a certain number, over a certain number, under a certain number. So it, 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 is it, it similar to like? Count it. What count it cross stitch is, yeah. well, is is it's similar to it. Count it cross it's, stitch. It's you're saying that you know you do mm -hmm. this for this many stitches and this for this many. This mm -hmm. is you're taking this needle. It's a it's a more blunt tip needle, mm -hmm. and it's the same sort of fabric. Aida cloth is used for kind of cross stitch. Yes, there it is. Um, this even weave fabric is a mono weave. Which may, um Aida has multiple threads going one direction, that multiple going the other. Bound together. But it gives you those individual holes in the, that line up. Mono thread fabric is a single thread well, going one direction. A single plied thread and a single plied thread going that way. And what you're doing is you put, bring your needle up between the warp and the weft and then count a certain number of stitches over and put your thread back down the over other way. Over three, under five. It is counted three. thread work. For yeah, those okay. in embroidery, mm -hmm. it is counted thread work. Mm -hmm. um a la japan at a yes. period mm -hmm. right. so for me i would need my readers maybe oh well <laughs> oh, oh yeah we we have we we have a number of uh magnifier magnifiers that, that just happen to be around <laughs> everywhere in the house yeah i mean doesn't they make it a lot easier. yeah it also depends upon you know, the, the the count of the uh, the fabric you're using because you don't have to use a specific thread count. You you can go Good higher lighting. threads. You can go you know the, the lower count if if you need a little more room. And what's cool I, is I did all of this under this is uh, the mm -hmm. the Han Tan from this one. Oh, that's all cool. that all that dark stuff is mm -hmm. the stitch work. Yep. And I did all of that under a magnifier because no way. Here, <laughs> I, I have. I couldn't there, see yeah. any of that. Look at that. that yeah, there, yeah. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. So, um, what was I going to ask about it? Sorry. Uh, I'm like, I'm all fascinated, like in getting up close to my screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so in the book, though, you go over like the materials and stuff, but you also, people can get the materials directly from you as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, on yeah. shannonandjason.com, you can pre-order the book, but you can also get the needle, thread, and fabrics because these fabrics, getting them in any um, amount, I mean, you can certainly go on websites and you can go to needlework stores mm -hmm. um, and you can get them in small amounts usually. Um, mm -hmm. But to get anything larger for, for you know, if you, if you wanted to do the, the, the back piece, of the jacket or, or like yeah. back or you're gonna a pillow. Need, you're going to need larger pieces of fabric. So we made the, the, the decision to carry that ourselves to make yeah. sure that we had enough on hand for pretty much anybody that, that wanted to, to do it um, in a number of different styles of fabric. We, there's a both, you know, we, we carry Aida, Devosa, Lugana. Uh, there, there, there are a bunch of different types of linens. All that the we carry. off fabrics. Yes, all of the off fabrics. Lugana and Devosa. <laughs> <laughs> and but, you also right have here. a new thread though, or uh, not a new thread, but a thread line. That's yes, we, we do. do have a new thread, thread collection, collection and uh, someone didn't bring it up here. Oh, I need to. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I don't have, have it. I have the, well, I have the other photo. Let me go back. Mm -hmm. I have some yeah. of it. But there, it comes in such a nice little... I saw a picture the other day, like a nice little collection of different threads. Correct? It is an oracle yeah. thread, mm -hmm. and it yep. is five. Um, are you going to show that photo? Yes, yeah, so I can pull that photo. Five yeah, exactly. um, of each of a 12 weight and of a uh, floss. Okay. And it is um, so because for this, you can use either the 12 weight like we used for our uh, for Hitomizashi and Moyuzashi and all of those. Or you can use, did it work? Yes. Coming up right there. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's so pretty. I'm going to so make it five big. of the 12 weight and five of the Aurifil floss. Pass. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. They're Aurifil cotton floss or Aura floss. Um, and it is in a full range of a rainbow color. So there, there's there's a lot to play with. I mean, yeah. 270 colors. Mm -hmm. um, we, that, that, see, here, we had to choose again. 
we had to choose um, so, 10, 10 spools of 270 possibilities. <laughs> right. So what we did, again, we mixed the 12 weight and uh, it's five of the 12 weight and five of the floss. I think in this photo, the floss is on the top. Floss is on the, the top. The 12 weight is on the bottom. And yes. what we did is we picked one, the colors that we used a lot, mm -hmm. but also we teach um, a thread blending technique in this book with how to get like on the pillow and on a couple of the other projects, the color starts darker and then goes lighter and darker oh, and lighter. It, kind it of shimmers. We call it a shimmer or mm -hmm. a, a glow over the fabric itself. And I don't think it'll show up really well in that, but maybe we can get in closer later. There, there's that photos um, the yeah, let's do that. And so what we did is we tried to put in colors here that you could do that with and get that same, you could practice that same thing. So whether you're doing color blocking, which is using a couple of different colors or high contrast colors, or whether you're doing just solid colors or the shimmering, this collection will get you started. And that is, of course, available um, right now on right now. shannonjason.com. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, we have kits mm -hmm. right. uh, with that, a small uh, amount of the um, fabric. fabric, a couple of different types of fabric, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yep. Um, the needle, because it's a different Sashiko needle. It's a more blunt tip needle. Um, and, of course, the Sashiko thimble. And now we have... Mm -hmm. um, a free uh, project sheet that goes with right. it, so you mm -hmm. can actually mm -hmm. before you get if, if you pre-order the book from us or from C and T, I believe. Yeah, we're, we don't have it. <laughs> we're, we're getting it ready this week, so if you pre-order it, we'll send it out to you. Even if yeah, you so order any pre -order it, from we'll our make website, sure you get your your free project sheet. Don't worry. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. any any pre-orders from the book or the the. Uh, Kogan floss, mm -hmm. the, the Kogan thread collection, collection. Yeah. will get a free project sheet with it. Yeah. So, which is so cool. So, what I know you originally, like for the first book, you went and researched a lot. And did you find this craft when you were <laughs> working on that? Rabbit you know hole? the answer to that. You know the answer you, to that already. Yeah. 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 to have an interview. Come on. <laughs> yeah, because um, we're information hounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, like once we start looking at something, it's like we we find, you know, if we're going to raise a succulent, we're going <laughs> to every book on the planet that comes home from the library and every website possible on mm -hmm. how to raise that succulent the mm -hmm. right way. Um, so certainly with things like this, we always like to research the context or the, the content. content. And with Boro and Sajiko, Harmonious Imperfection, um, our last book, we, uh, of course, this discovered, you know, mm -hmm. found Kogan in there. Yes. Um, the mm -hmm. problem was we had to cut back. There's only so much that you can fit into you know page a count. Book, you know. And our editors were like, "Yeah, yeah. we already gave you two extensions, and two, two two expansions two. on oh, it." No. So no this more. Get cut, sliced. So in our writing program, there's a folder down at the bottom that we make called um, the cutting room floor. Cutting room floor and everything that can't fit, whether it's an extra project or, or research. Mm -hmm. um, it went into the cutting room floor. And we're looking at it going, there's enough for not just a section of a book, but an entire book mm -hmm. in there. And yeah. I can tell you that even this work, mm -hmm. the, 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 yeah. Kogan, the Kogan book, which is, you know, finished now, thank goodness, um, there's a cutting room floor for it. <laughs> Do? There's uh, always extra. There's always, always. There's always. So extra. It, that'll come out in classes that we'll have on Creative Spark. Yeah. And tutorials on our website and things like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, I put a couple links just so everyone knows to a couple of those kits that uh, Jason and Shannon to you. their website. So that's what I was sitting here doing. <laughs> um, but yeah, they and they do have a bunch of classes on Creative Spark, and we have a lot planned. I know for mm -hmm. uh, yes, at this yes. Point. We're, filming, we're filming now for the classes that are coming out later in the year: August, September, October, November, and December. Yeah. And um, I mean, I know a lot of you watching probably I hope you probably are familiar with them, but they are really amazing instructors. Um, oh. I yeah, they yeah, <laughs> you know how much I always am like I could actually show up to your class. <laughs> like so, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you will be not only will the book um, you could just get the book and and kind of be able to jump in, but it's so much more. Um, I think fun and exciting to see it in motion and get up close and um, and watch it happen as well. So and, one of, and one of the first things we're going to have up on C and T is a free um, kind of like this is this is Kogan and this mm -hmm. is how you get started. Yeah, and it'll have a different project sheet with it. Mm -hmm. 
because we have another project that went to the cutting room floor <laughs> that we wanted to include in the book but couldn't. Mm -hmm. So it's going in that one. So they'll they'll be able to see like the first chapter of the book. Basically, yeah. It's, yeah. It just gives you a good rundown as to you know exactly what what Kogan is, how it works, how how to, uh, to move the needle how to handle the, the needle because that's mm -hmm. a let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Even if you've done Sashko before, this is a little bit of a learning curve. Just it really because is, yeah. It's it's completely different. You have to eye your stitches differently, and they're all there's no vertical stitches. Everything it's, is horizontal. There's it's just all, it's just like an old yeah. dot matrix printer, basically. Is how yeah. you're things. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. Like if you if, bonus points if you remember what that is. Yes. <laughs> it's filling like see, this. See. And that's the way you do this. We start from mm -hmm. the center and fill this way and then go back and fill that way. So mm -hmm. it's it's actually, it's a lot of fun. It's very, it's very meditative. I mean, because you don't have to worry. You do, all you do is pick up the fabric and decide where your center is mm -hmm. and go. And go. Yep. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not, you know, I mean, there's some initial setup and counting that you do, but it's nothing like drawing all the grids or, you know, this type of stuff mm -hmm. yeah. from our last book. <laughs> um, and it, it's really easy to get started and do like we have like the small projects like the bookmarks and coasters um, coasters and things like that to get mm -hmm, started yeah. on mm -hmm. and um, even ways that we even put a formula in the book for how to take some of the um, motifs the Deep. Madoku that we included mm -hmm. and tr uh, translate them into substitute sorry them into the other projects you just swap uh, them out based upon size or based upon counting you you, you can actually just get a piece of of graph paper and then I start graphing in and decide, okay, I want this one here, this one here, this one here, and build your own motif based upon the individual Madoku. And that's what I love called. that. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not First just a, it's mm -hmm. not just following it, it's also being learning how to make your own stuff. Yeah, exactly. so, that, so that if yeah. you want to follow along and do it the way we did it, mm -hmm. great. Yeah, if you if you want to you make the that, exact, if you want to make the peacock jacket, then you can make the peacock jacket, but if you don't like the, that motif, I don't know why you wouldn't, but just oh, yeah. in it. <clears throat> but if, if you wanted something completely different there, then all, all you have to do is just look at the size and then start graphing it out and decide, I like this motif, right. and this one can connect here, and I'll just overlap this one, and this will turn, and you make your own. I and love we that. included motifs that are from the original uh, Kogan Research Institute. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the Hirosaki Research Institute in Japan. Yeah, I think they're like 48 individual <laughs> That we, included. That, that we included but then and there's then, also the ones like like this and and, and then and mm -hmm. you know the most yeah. of the ones in the uh, oh, oh, yeah. 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 a lot of the ones in the in the, yeah. the the projects especially the larger ones are um this like is this. jason's there mess. Mm -hmm. i love it um, a lot of the they really can't you're about half off oh. screen this way <laughs> there you go i forgot the camera in front of me. But, uh, there we go there wow you go. You but know what? I'm gonna, let's. Do you mind if we look at some of the pictures that we? I no, kind of. No, 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 no. You must not. No, <laughs> no you must not look at the book. So we okay. talking so, until you change the subject. So. So we were, no, I know. I'm not trying to. I really didn't want to show them, but uh, because I figure we could chat about them while we're looking. But yeah. how many yeah. projects are in the book about? There, there are 50 million. There are 10 individual projects. Oh, is that it? Yeah, there are 10 individual projects, but each of those projects, uh, most of them have anywhere from three to, to six variants. Like the coasters. So, the yeah, coasters like, and the bookmarks and the placemats. placemats all have multiple things that, they, they, that you can do. Like this, this is a placemat. This is the edge of one of the places. Okay. Mm -hmm. place oh, I love that with the denim. Yeah, it like, did. Yeah, we oh, use so pretty. We use some recycled uh -huh. denim. I mean, you know, we're all about you know reusing when we can. That's something that we mm -hmm. learned, you know. I mean, well, from our own That's upbringing, but also sorry. from studying more Sashiko. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, uh, yeah, we used a lot of recycled denim in that from our own collection and from an old project that we did where we had some denim from a supplier. Awesome. And then this photo is a uh, is um a small portion of a, a piece of cover. framed art. Oh, is that the frame art? Yeah, yeah. This, this, oh, is, is it that frame art? Yep, that's yeah, it. With our with the teeny tiny version of our avocado plant that we grew from garbage. Mm -hmm. I um, love this that. Is one of my favorite pictures in the book. I have to tell you, I love this whole the way Jason does. Jason did all the photos. Thank I you. loved um, this picture too, Jason. <laughs> I, I, this is without a doubt like one of my favorites. But this is the framed art. This is one of the ways that we like displaying. Mm -hmm. Well, everything from uh, our our Sashiko pieces from the. Uh, Hitomasashi and Moyusashi mm -hmm. to quilt square, 
and um, just things that we don't have a big piece of. Right. And we want to display it. This is the way that we do and it. For, so. for, for Kogan, this is the Harvey because you can make a small piece and it really becomes something very beautiful and very showy. And I love that it's just like a standard frame. Like, I mean, I do love embroidery, like in the little circle frames, but then I have to find this like special circle frame. And I love how right. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. we just went down to the local frame shop and yeah. a lot of these are made by local artisans. Yeah, we, we um, just picked up. And if you're good, if you're good at making your own frames, you can do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, this okay, is another so one. This is a section of those little circular ones. If this is a wall hanging. This is the wall hanging, though. We had this idea for a mobile, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, like it and it turned right into right. a wall. Do you have the picture of the whole wall hanging? I don't know if it's included in there, but I might have it on Jason, that Jason. Yeah, I, I don't think I had it in my little. Uh, um, but this is a whole wall hanging that's connected with the chains like that. Uh, I love and, um, that. Just whip stitched on. Just with it has some thread. twenty. I believe it's twenty six individual m motifs, and these are just some of the the original motifs that are in the book. So we just put a few together into a specific pattern. But this is a really good way to learn the individual mo motifs. I mean, yeah. After you get it down and you get through some of the beginner projects, mm -hmm. you can play with some of the asymmetrical pieces and some of the stuff that just, it just it, it's a little more challenging to follow. We talk we talk about concentration levels, right? Um, instead, instead of beginner, beginner intermediate, and intermediate, I mean, yeah. who cares yeah. about that? Right. So, but content, you know, does it take a lot of concentration to get through these? And some of them, yes, some of them, no. Some of them you can just wing your way through and you don't ever have to look at the pattern again. You just get it and you start reading the stitches, mm -hmm. but which we talk about how to do that in the book too. But this uh, this one we branched out right. a little bit more and gave folks, but it's a mm -hmm. whole mobile type thing. It's hung on a, a rod at the top and yeah, then you the chains hang the down. There. I love that though. I love just like kind of highlighting this simple thing on the wall. Exactly. exactly. And it's very, yeah. it's mm -hmm. very um, like they're spaced apart really nicely. If you could show a picture, that'd be awesome. Um, but it's spaced apart really nicely. It's one of my favorite. I mean, I love them all, but just the way this turned out was really, uh, was really cool. I don't think you have it. That's okay. Well, they'll be. We are going to be showing this book a lot coming forward, uh, so you you'll we'll definitely we can always add it to to the um, comments. And it's in the uh, it's mm -hmm. if you go on our website, we have a lot of preview photos, yeah. and it's on there. Yeah, there I, I, I will definitely make sure. Go to go to the the website. See it next week. Um, okay, so this looks like it goes kind of with the um, placemats. I missed. Yes, it is. Yeah, these are the coasters. This is the mm -hmm. coaster set, mm -hmm. and we made them with a lot of the same. Um, designs on them. Some of them are traditional, um, like that one down there underneath the red cocktail. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, 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 I was going to go point at it, but I don't think that's going to help. I don't think it's going to help. <laughs> the, uh, the one under the red cranberry juice mm -hmm. yeah. uh, beverage. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yes, we drank those. Um, is a really traditional one. And then the one that we did up in the other corner is one that, that Jason actually made. Yeah, I, I, I just made up. And we I love it. It has kind of a South Western feel to it. So those will have some echoes. Um, we made them in the same style and we dyed that, um, Jeep, we, that fabric, Jason dyed that fab, dyed that even weave so that it was that kind of that, uh, ochre goldenrod, goldenrod mm -hmm. color. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so. I was wondering if you dyed, like if these just came in stock that way or you were custom hard to find even weave in colors, especially. Yeah colors that you want some of them came in the colors like the the, the, the pillow came in that christmas red um there there, there were some blues that, that, that we found um but the, the majority of them honestly all, although you know who are natural or white are, or off-white mm -hmm. yeah, yeah they, they started out that way and then i just decided to dye them because they're they're 100 cotton they dye with with any sort of a basic dye and they keep that that color so we just went to the craft store and ordered some online mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, it just of, started playing. I love the non-toxic stuff you can do right in your kitchen in a pot. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, awesome. Okay. What do we have here? All right. So these are some of the individual, there's a called Madoku. Thank you. Madoku. And <laughs> it, basically to means, it. <laughs> it basically means a motif. Mm -hmm. um, and these are the originals as laid out by the Hirozaki Research Institute in Japan. That these are some of their 400 and something motifs right. mm -hmm. that they recognize as the foundational Madoku of Koganzashi. Taking each individual ones of these and then overlapping them or stacking them next to each other, tiling them, tiling them, create 
the larger, larger mo motifs, which I do have a photo of here. Oh, great. Is, yeah, because the um, the larger okay, motifs yeah. are kind of, mm -hmm. it, it's once you learn how to read them, the, um, that's the fabric. And, oh, because it's not coming up here. Okay, I'll put mine back up then. Oh. Yeah, well, you're back up. And, but the idea, uh, once, you start, once you start being able to see these basics, you know, what mm -hmm. the, they're by no means basic, but the, yeah. uh, the mm -hmm. elementary, um, um, the foundational Madoku, even the motifs like this, and then you start looking at the larger ones, you go, oh, that's just a repeat of da da da. da, da, da. Mm -hmm. And you start being able to duplicate and, and make things that are just a lot more complex than you ever thought you could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's one of those things, once you see it, there it is. You see it, and it's just really obvious to you. And, and this, for me, this happened pretty quickly, being able to see this. Mm -hmm. So I think that folks who um, can teach themselves to see a pattern in something will really catch on to this. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if not, just follow our patterns. Right. You don't have to. Let me tell you that you can mm -hmm. go from beginning to end of this book and just blindly go through and make things. And you will look like a genius. Don't tell anybody. Absolutely. Um, yes. Or mm -hmm. you can really hitch on to it and go back through again and be like, oh, well, I want to draw this and I want to mm -hmm. make this. And again, we're certainly going to teach a class on this after the first year how to make your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, but you can go all the way through the book not knowing anything and not recognize. And I love that about both of you. You always are. So, you you take something that looks so complicated and break it down so that really anyone can take it on. And that, and, and, and that is the, the basic of, of Kogenzashi. It looks, for example, the, this oh, pillow, the pillow looks incredibly complicated when, when, when you're just looking at it. But once you start to, to break it down into the individual mo motifs that are on the, uh, the, the upper left side of the, of the pillow there, yeah, you can okay. see that those are really small little bitty mo motifs. And then you've got the, this larger repeating pattern that once you've got the, the basic pattern down, you just keep going. You, you 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 just keep filling it in. This is sitting in front of the TV watching movies, or as we did it, sitting out mm -hmm. in the garden, uh, yeah. looking at the garden, uh, making this. And this mm -hmm. is I wanted to show. This is a really good example. Is what looks like the light fluctuating on mm -hmm. the pillow is not. That's the thread work. That's, that's the like thread. right here. I'm using my that's exactly that. that's. The, I'll try. Let's see if I can. That's get the thread changing color. And when you pull back from you can really see the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, that's a different colored thread mm -hmm. woven through that. And it's meant to make it look like the light is shimmering uh... on it. Um, and it does that from lighter to a little bit darker, lighter, and, dark, and it does it all the uh, way down. Look at that. That's amazing. These waves of color. Somebody it's combinations made... of three different colors of thread. Wow. To do that with. We can probably show them that. It's totally cool. Yeah. Thank you, Jason, for taking such good photos that I can zoom in. <laughs> right? Like every time I'm ex I'm I, every time you start shooting, I'm like, okay, come on. Because I want to see the photos. Because <laughs> you know, it's one thing that we see them on dress mm -hmm. forms or you know, stocked up, but seeing them actually beautified the way he does. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is really good. This is one of the um Madoku that were actually um, you can see really closely here the way the fabric, the evenly fabric goes and how the thread work goes over and under everything. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. So it's like weaving the threads across the top of it. it. Really, that's, exact, it's, that's all it so is. So it yeah. ties really closely to needle weaving uh -huh. mm -hmm. and again, counted thread work. So it depends on what area you came from. Needle weaving is from one period of the world and, and counted thread. One area of the world. Right, one area. But counted thread work I mean, goes back all the way. Originally, you can find pieces that look exactly like these um, coming out of literally the cradle of civilization in ancient Northern, Egypt. And, yeah, and well, Mesopotamia, it, ancient Egypt, because yeah, and and th from uh, it's um, it was people who carried who were ca captured as slaves and brought into Northern Africa mm -hmm. um, by the Egyptians from Iran and from the Middle East, and they brought theirs with them. And mm -hmm. one of the oldest pieces of fabric they have ever, textiles, um, has this has counted thread work just like this through it. Like, wow. mm -hmm. you want to talk about geeking out? I mean, yeah, no, I was like, the history is, you know, is amazing. Once we start diving, it just goes and goes, goes and, and goes, goes and, and goes, and you have mm -hmm. to stop somewhere. Um, I'm going to go back up to the top. Here we go, really fast, so people can see the book 
again, yep. there's the book. Um, hey, if you have any questions for us, we would love to hear from you. If you yes, just please. Um, but if not, you can always reach out to us as well, and we will answer as many as we can. Plus, you can always contact Shannon and Jason. Um, so this is Contemporary Kogenzashi that we're talking about. This is a brand new book. It's not out yet. It's in pre-sale. Yes. Yeah, yet. Mm -hmm. And we really um, highly suggest that you pre-order your um, books because um, as many of you know, like there's been a lot of like uh, issues. Oops, I'm trying to turn that off for a second. Okay, there's been some, some issues with just transportation and, and getting um, inventory in. So if you want to guarantee that you have your book ready or you want it for the holiday, um, you should place your order ahead of time uh, for sure. Get your get your well, kit of supplies, get your book and you know, I mean, how fun would this be to do with some other crafty friends or stitch? Well, and that, oh, yeah, my kit went on sale out to whole to distributors mm -hmm. and um, sold out. They had to make a whole new set of them before they could even send us our order. Yes. So it's mm -hmm. folks are interested in this, yes. and it's mm -hmm. because it's accessible, but it's something new. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, we've we've based our entire career on the fact that. In, in the fiber and textile arts on the fact that folks want more than just one thing to do, you know, this multi craftual yes. maker. Now um, folks don't want to be just pigeonholed as one thing. And plus if y'all are like me, well, like us, mm -hmm. you get bored. You need something to do. Like, and I want something same different, something mm -hmm. that feeds me, something that has a little bit of history and a little bit of oomph to it that I understand. Or sometimes just something that I don't have to think about that much. Well, I and love trying new techniques that. too. So like anytime there's like, okay, I've never done that. I just need to know how to do it. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's, a, that's a, it for me. <laughs> so. We have a lot of students who will take classes and they're like, okay, I just wanted to take this once right. mm -hmm. and see if I could do it. And I can, and I get it and I understand it. And now and I'll never do it again. And now it will inform me to other things that I might never do this again. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They I mean, make it look beautiful project versus process people like yes. there's people yeah, yeah. And process, i'm a process learner and i mm -hmm. will pick something up and i will i will love the fact that i learned it mm -hmm. but i'll put it down and i'll yeah. never go back to it but i have all the tools just in case i have all, <laughs> right. just in case and sometimes mm -hmm. it ends up being years later we'll go and pick it back up right yeah mm -hmm. definitely but, so you but... can do that or you can get completely obsessed like we did this is really easy to get obsessed with too just because it's so easy it's so portable um, and, and it's quickly, you, you, you build something that, that looks very dramatic. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah oh, you, no, you, I'm already you, making coasters in my mind. I'm already mm -hmm. at the coaster. Well, yeah, the coasters yeah. are like, well, the thing that we have in the, um, the, the, the little free project is, mm -hmm. uh, these. The pin cushions. Oh, I love the pin cushions. Uh, right. I mean, like mm -hmm. how many of these can you, like we had to go find yeah both this one was above the sewing machine and this one was downstairs next, next to, to the that couch. so i mean how many pin cushions do you need as many as it takes yes mm -hmm. yeah and so we just get these little kits and we make them there's mm -hmm. two more up there on the back of the project show I love that. um but it's this is your free project and it has mm -hmm. the stitch pattern mm -hmm. and um you know basically how to how to assemble the thing awesome so again, yeah, if you order the book, I'll make sure that you get your free pattern. Um, eventually, it'll become more of an automated thing that you'll get it. But right now, we're still figuring that one out. So, um, mm -hmm. well, is there anything else I sh we should let people know about the book other than that they should reserve their copy, that we have lots more fun stuff? Oh, I know what else. We have a book launch party. Um, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. December, there's going to be emails and social media about it. Um, so it's not, you can't reserve your spot yet, but we really suggest you reserve your spot and come celebrate. This is when the book is actually going to be out. We're going to have a, there's going to be some giveaways. Mm -hmm. yeah, we some have giveaways. some freebie giveaways that we're combining some with stuff. some of our partners mm -hmm. um, through RFL and Clover and CNT and from us. And uh, we're going to be giving away some fun stuff. Yeah, we are. So mm -hmm. make sure that yeah. you're at the book launch party. When you that want to it's free. Mm -hmm. It's right. not, but it's, it's going to be through Creative Spark. There'll be plenty of information between now and when the party is for you to right. know how to sign up. But always, you know, get on um, the CNT's uh, email list or yes. Shannon mm -hmm. and email list or both. 
Um, at Shannon and Jason. Not all the email lists, so you know when the party is. Well, and, that's the best way to cover your bases, mm -hmm. yeah. right? <laughs> and then also be sure to check out their great kits. Um, I put up a couple. I'm sure there's more things, but I just mm -hmm. quickly grabbing some links. So, yeah, thank you. So we're so excited. Congratulations, both of you. We're thank so, you, uh, thank you. Always fun to work. We're very with excited you. about this book. Mm -hmm. This was yeah. um, this one. I mean, I got to tell you, we have created like. One of the books we did was a tome like this on how to crochet, <laughs> and it took us two and a half years to write. And uh, this one was harder. Oh wow! <laughs> I don't know, right? I know the other books, mm -hmm. so I'm like, wow. Well, okay. It's just that this one, um, we wanted to get it right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we oh, just. Look at that. I love that. That's the bookmark. Those are the bookmarks. That's a project in the book. Um, coasters, coasters again. Seen. Yeah, but we really oh, wanted hey. to get it right, and this is such a uh, a revered. Um, it, it's actually it's one of the crafts that is. Mm -hmm. there, there's the oh, and that uses the uh, not only our fabric and thread, oh, but it is uses craft text. That's craft text. Yes, it is. The, the bag is made out of craft text and even weave. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we love that bag, by the way. Yeah. Um, but the 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 actual. Um, the art itself, Kogenzashi, is actually regulated by the Japanese government in that they, not regulated, but they assigned the research institute to document it mm -hmm. and to preserve it and to promote it through teaching and through artists and through, you know, spread it throughout the world is their whole, uh, their, uh, their whole reason for existing. And they do such amazing work. And, oh, there's the, there's the jacket. Oh, I love That's that. Cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we wanted to, even though like with that jacket, we made mm -hmm. up and with there's Jason's vest, even though we made up those designs, like mm -hmm. we created that one, there's no motif it's based on. Okay. It's just, we went, okay, here's this. Um, but even though we did things like that, we still wanted to be true to um, the work of the Research Institute in Japan, the, uh, the Kogan Research Institute, and to not tread on their work. Um, so even in the book, we encourage folks to go and look more at uh, the Kogan Research Institute. And, uh, oh, that's some of the, uh, the individual mo the wall hanging in progress. Love. We're very excited about this book. We actually had contact with some of the folks who um, publish the uh, magazines and do this. And one of the iconic teachers um, in Japan, she's, she uh, just passed away this past year when we were writing the book. And, uh, but her granddaughter and her grandson um, mm -hmm. carry on her work through uh, these magazines and through Kogan.net. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so we always send people over to there. But we actually told her about the book and what it was that we were doing. And she was like, all of us and the world cannot wait yeah. to see your Kogan book. And mm -hmm. I was just like, I mean, like I was in tears. Yeah, I was very, like losing very it. Sweet so we wanted to make sure that we got it right. And yes. honestly, mm -hmm. I feel like after 50 bazillion edits mm -hmm. yeah. and lots of like sleepless, nearly sleepless nights, I feel like we got it right. We so did. we're happy mm -hmm. about this. We're very excited that folks can pre-order it now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nancy is asking what the, the, the projected price is on that. Uh, Sophie, did you have oh. that? 29. Ooh, it changed a couple times. Oh, hold on that. I'm sorry. I don't know. It on website. My yeah. it, I mm -hmm. want to say it might be 29.99. I think it's for 29, but it's on our website. Right. We'll, we'll be able to yeah. check that real quick. Yeah, Nancy, if you go to uh, shannonandjason.com, right on the front. And I will, um, there's also, oops, there's, you can get your copy at ctpub.com. Yep. I'm try to see. Thank you. And then uh, Nancy asked if it's spiral okay. bound. It's not spiral bound. It's not spiral bound. But not. the way that we did um, with our last book from CNT that is bound the same way and laid out the same way, is that you can take it into a, a, a coffee shop and have it spiral bound. Mm -hmm. um, there's enough room in the margin to do that, and it works beautifully. The, the individual patterns as well, all of the, 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 the Madoka and Stitch patterns, uh, we will be available for download too. Oh, that's there's, right. There's actually a code, so you, you, you can book. actually download the, the individual patterns, so you can use them on mm -hmm. a tablet or device, which is a perfect way of doing it. So the, because I love that. I didn't know right. So because that. we were talking earlier about the, you know, oh, so I'm going to get have to get up my readers, mm -hmm. girl. That ain't the issue. It's <laughs> reading the pattern. It's reading the pattern. <laughs> getting that right. And so being able to, what we did is what everyone else will be able to do who gets the book. There's a little mm -hmm. code inside of it, and you can download that onto your devices 
and then, and then I you can put it on my up. iPad and blew mm -hmm. it up. Yeah, well, that's I love beautiful. that. It is bloom up nice and big, and you can see all of the lines. You can count those stitches really easily. And I mean, a lot of times you'll get the digital copy of the book of one of our classes, and mm -hmm. I know yeah. that's what we're planning on doing yeah. with all of our CMT classes. And then you'll have a second copy. Yeah, you're and you'll be able to take that and have that as your second copy that you put onto your your iPad or your reader device, and, and then you can you can, blow that, you can well. blow that up and read it that way. Yeah. The other thing uh, um, I think that I know that you felt was the first book is if this is under the same. Um, imprint the quality of the printing is really good on these it's beautiful books. yes it is yeah. the paper yeah. when we got the first book from cnt we didn't know what to expect because mm -hmm. we've been with other publishers in the past and so our last book that we published two years ago yeah yep. two years ago with y'all we got it and it is magazine quality well higher than that higher it's cardstock quality mm -hmm. yeah um uh it's, it's cardstock it's quality nice. pages every single page so mm -hmm. it, it stands up well and we have had them spiral bound and other mm -hmm. folks who uh, take our classes have had them spiral bound at their local co uh, copy. Great. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Great question. Thank you, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, appreciate it. Um, well, so hopefully that kind of uh, gets you all excited about what we have coming this fall. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be lots of other things we're doing uh, leading up to uh, the actual launch in, um, in December. But yes, definitely be in the the Kogan Club and get your copy. The Kogan Club. Well, there you go. That's, that's done. Well, that's, that's done. done yeah, that just happened. Mic that's drop. Done. There we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's <a good> <laughs> we, love, we love an alliteration. So yeah. yeah. So um. So the anyways. Kogan cool Kogan Club. <laughs> thank. So anyways, thank you, Shannon and Jason, for joining me today. Um, and thank, thank you, you Shelley. Oh, hi, Shelley. Shelley often says it's like a for watching. Thank you. It is, it's, it is, it looks really beautiful. The previews look great. The photos look great. And I know Jason took all of those too. So um, there, 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 there'll be plenty more photos on Shannon and Jason. Uh, so if you, if you want to see photos that are in the book, or even photos that are not in the book, I'll have system out there for the, the, the individual projects. You can get a really nice close look at them. Right. Um, and then there'll actually be a little video on our website as well. Oh, yeah, because you all have that too. That'll go mm -hmm. up. Uh, yeah. It should go up this, this week. We, there's a lot here. coming out. <laughs> yeah. But thank you everyone for joining us today. Feel free to rewatch this, share this, and uh, have a great day. Take care, Bye, everyone. Bye.